My name is Katie Albright, and I'm a fellow with Aspen's Ascend program, a two-generation approach to ending poverty. I'm also the executive director of the San Francisco Child Abuse Prevention Center. And my action pledge is to create a community in San Francisco where 100% of our children can grow up free from violence and free from fear. Child abuse is the root cause of so many problems that we as a country are trying to fix, from education to the economy, from our healthcare system to our juvenile justice system. Victims of child abuse are more likely to struggle in school, grow up as teen parents, be thrown in jail, end up suffering from chronic unemployment, and also serious long-term physical and mental health issues. That's why I've pledged to take action, and I'm doing it in my own backyard in San Francisco. Over the past 12 months, my colleagues and I at the Child Abuse Prevention Center have helped more than 14,000 children, parents, and community members to prevent abuse. We've led a public-private partnership in San Francisco to open up just a few months ago the city's first child advocacy center. It's a place where we provide innovation and coordination to child victims of sex trafficking, physical abuse, and sexual abuse. We've also launched new innovative programs where we can really show that families in our most vulnerable situations are improving their children's outcomes to pr protect them to create a safe space. While we've done a lot in the last 12 months, I'm frankly inspired to be in Aspen, to be with all of you so that we can further disrupt generational cycles of violence. Thank you. Uh, my name is Bruce Robertson. I'm from the inaugural class, class of the Africa Leadership Initiative. My action pledge last year was to provide uh, 15,000 uh, farmers in northern Uganda with, uh, to register them and to get them involved in organic agriculture. Uh, through my organization, the Gulu Agricultural Development Company, we um, registered 29,400 farmers and we gave them one training session on, on basic agronomy, which enabled them to produce their sesame and cotton and bird's eye chilies more productively. It basically doubled the amount that we bought that year, and we sold that, uh, th that crop for them for, for premium prices into Europe. So my action pledge this year is to increase from the 29,400 to 45,000 farmers, and to increase the training from one training to nine training modules, which include uh, all the sort of basic um, agricultural processes, plus uh, financial services, basic budgeting, and organizational skills. Um, if my competitors uh, also operate in this space, but um, my involvement with the Africa, Africa Leadership uh, Initiative really sort of pushed me to, to go that extra mile and provide um, development services through donor funding rather than just the sort of buy and sell model. Thank you very much. My name is Mukti Datta, and I'm from the India Leadership Initiative inaugural class. I founded, ran, and now mentor an organization, a cooperative of women weavers in the Himalayas and North India, in which hundreds of women have found economic and social empowerment through weaving beautiful cashmere shawls, which are sold locally and also exported. Last year in June, there was a horrific cloudburst and um, a glacial lake at a 14,000 foot high temple town of Kedarnath burst its banks after 72 hours of rain. And the flood which followed this killed 30,000 people, locals and pilgrims. So my pledge was to help the survivors of this horrific flood to pick up the pieces of their shattered lives and to find alternative livelihoods. And along with my team of master weavers from my cooperative, I spent the better part of the whole year in the Kedarnath Valley um, helping out these women. So we formed a new cooperative there with 300 widows 
who have currently learned how to weave and are weaving their first collection of uh, designer shawls and stoles, which have been designed by one of the top uh, designers in India, Abraham and Thakur. Amit Bhatia was also a classmate of mine who came up to Kedarnath and started a computer center for the children there, which is uh, now being run by one of the young widows, Kiran, who lost her husband and five members of her family in the floods. Um, Nidhi Mani Tripathi of ILI2, who was a government servant, helped in raising funds from government to um, support this program. And three years ago, the McNulty Foundation gave us a grant to train some women in our part of the world as weavers. And I'm very happy to say that the master weavers from this training program are the ladies who came to Kedarnath to teach the widows how to weave. So thank you all, and a special thanks to Peter, who always encourage me, encourages me to stretch myself. Thank you so much. I'm Walter Isaacson. And inspired by all of you all last year, while, while I watched people do their action pledges, I went up to the wall and wrote an action pledge of my own, which is to follow through on an idea that General Stan McChrystal had when he came to the Ideas Festival right before you came, which is to create the opportunity and the expectation that every person in America, every kid in America, would have the opportunity to be part of a service year. I've been involved, thank you. <laughs> I've been involved with Teach for America, and I saw how that transformed that field. We figured out if we could do service years and everything from law to finance to the environment and energy and allow people to spend one year of service after they graduate from college or high school career ready, that would be a useful project. I'm proud to say that at the Aspen Institute now, we have something called the Franklin Project. We've just raised, after a big summit at Gettysburg with Stan McChrystal and others, $40 million in order to start service year programs around America. <laughs> Jay Mangone, who served under General McChrystal in Afghanistan, is now at the Aspen Institute helping coordinate this program. We've already created new slots uh, new service corps are up and running in uh, Baltimore, outdoor service cars, and many others. So we hope that we can try to transform, with your help, the idea of making sure that every kid can serve America. Thank you all very much.